is this pressed ass bitch who think about you every day? That's pretty much what we're about to look at. Now, for some of y'all, they might not be a bitch. For some of y'all, might be a person who is still in love with you or secretly admiring you or a family member who you're not around who thinks about you a lot. But um, it's definitely a group of people who this is for who it's a person of people who come up with theories and hypotheses about your life based on the fact that they are continually preoccupied with you. So they type your, your name in the internet, they find ways to watch you, stalk, lurk, whatever way they can. They sit around and gossip about you in order to come up with something that makes them feel better about themselves or better about you not being in their life or whatever. That's the type of obsession I have to deal with um, where I just be minding my business and then I'm just hit with some shit that somebody said or somebody wants to randomly tell me how they feel when I don't give a fuck. Like, I don't want to be around you. I don't want you to like me. You're not the type of person I want around me. Why the fuck do you think about me every day? But that might not be your situation. It might be a love situation for y'all. So let's just get into y'all reading it. <laughs> I just um, wanted to do this intro so I won't have to explain at the beginning of every zodiac sign. Um, but did I say that already? I don't know. Here's y'all reading. So, Capricorn. You can have Capricorn as your sign, Moon, Venus, or Mars sign in your chart. Who is this person? The Five of Cups is the person who's stuck in the past. Either in their past, like they're stuck in their past, or they're stuck in some past disappointing situation that happened between you and them. So um, they're upset. Um, that person. Okay, why are they obsessed with you? This came up. The Two of Earth. They feel like it's some things that you said that you didn't follow through with. They feel like. Thing, or they felt like things started and ended. For some people, they felt like you were a tease. I guess I should say this reading this for 18 and over because a lot of coochies and titties and um, penises and stuff in these pictures, but whatever. Yeah, somebody could feel like you were a tease or you led them on or you made them feel like it was going to be one way, but it was another way. They're most likely, likely actions towards you as chariot. Um, know what they're wanting from you as a cherry. They're most likely actions the emperor. And this is your advice. The tower. Lord. So, death is here. It could be a Scorpio. You got Scorpio twice. The tower twice. Aries. Cancer. Could be any sign, but... What the person wants from you is a trade. So they want to travel with you. They want to go like the distance. Some of them want marriage. They want to go because the chariot represents perseverance and sticking together through ever through whatever like um obstacles come in between y'all. So they're wanting you to pretty much stick with them, be their ride or die type of energy. That's what they want. But they're most likely the actions in the near future is the emperor. So they're wanting you to make some type of move in the near future. And because it's not going to happen, it's kind of like they're stubborn or both of y'all are stubborn. Because the emperor is Capricorn energy, but this is representing their actions towards you. So it's kind of like they're going to be mirroring you in the near future. Especially if you are kind of like not making a move. Kind of stuck in your ways of like... <laughs> Okay, I'm not moving. Or you're going to do things your way. Especially if this is a person who kind of wanted you to change for them in the past with this Five of Cups. Um, and they feel like things are up in the air. Or I already explained that card. But the Tower is your most likely, well, your advice when it comes to this person. So, it's a dub pretty much. Like, the Tower is pretty much saying... A foundation is faulty or a foundation was never strong enough to build a real structure on with you and this person. Yeah, this person is also wanting like lights, camera, action as far as sexually because she's clearly 
like turned on and that's what they're wanting so i don't know what type of adventurous type of things y'all did sexually but they're wanting that that's what that card is reminding me of too but the emperor just says they're kind of stubborn or if they do come back around they want some sort of change to happen or they want some type of control over you that i don't see them getting got the empress here yeah so they're wanting some sort of partnership with you but i do feel like the person is reckless kind of reckless y'all said why the fuck she's on a horse with her bear coochie out like and then it's the knight of swords so that's somebody who doesn't think before they talk so i feel like the person is reckless And it's like they're kind of wanting you to serve them or wanting you to read their mind or wanting you to do things that I don't feel like you're willing to do. Because I was clarifying your wants right here. Um, let me see. Why are they so um, obsessed with Capricorn? This could be the same person or a different person, but why is why are they so obsessed with Capricorn? We got self-care here. Um, if not me, then who? To tend to a wholeness, the parts in which surrender thy pulse for the heart that's nearer than any other. Okay. <laughs> But it's kind of like you're self-sufficient. It's pretty much saying the person kind of wants to have some type of control over you because you don't seem like you need them. Because the 31 is number four, and that's control. I mean, that's not control. That's about stability, strong foundations. So you feel like you are like some type of powerhouse, but they want to control certain things about you that they can't. Because... You have this type of commitment to yourself, either right now or in general. For some of you, this person could want you to take care of them. Um, let's see. got dreams here and boundaries so it's something related to the situation or this person that you need to set boundaries for in order to get the type of outcome that you want or in order for you to fulfill some type of dreams boundaries need to be set with an obsessive person i do feel like this dreams could be coming out related to this person they daydream a lot about things that happened in the past because the first card said, said that they're stuck in the past but regardless boundaries is a um a nice card so i think i'm done with this reading i think hopefully y'all enjoyed or got something from me thanks for watching peace